Jojo from Isle Split here with Sydney McLaughlin, third place today in the women's 400 hurdles at the Olympic Trials. Can you take us through that race? Um, it was a very intense race, you know. For me it was pretty sloppy, but the girls all went out and um, I kind of just tried to keep my composure and just finish the race and try to get a spot, so. And, you know, D Delilah ended up running 52-88 when what were your thoughts when you saw her, you know, get kind of far ahead and you're very close with a lot of the other girls? Um, I knew she was going to take it out, you know, and I tried to stay with her, but I was kind of sloppy in the beginning, you know, had a few uh, left legs where there shouldn't have been some, but I think once I clean that up, it'll be better. And, you know, she was gone, you know, there was no catching her, so I was just trying to finish for a spot. How did this, this race feel? You really had to fight going over that last hurdle and then that last stretch. Uh, mm -hmm. it, compared to your, your prelim and your semifinal yeah. where you won. Um, it was a little bit harder, you know, but I think the repetition definitely helped in the past too, and getting a day off. And I think that this is just good practice for Rio. So. And are you still going to go to World Juniors or are you completely focused on Rio? I have no idea what's happening. Not sure? <laughs> I'm not okay. Sure yet. Yep. <laughs> are you going to talk it over with your yeah. coaches yes. in the next couple days? Yep. Gotcha. Well, what were your initial reactions uh, when you crossed the line? I'm done. I can eat a cheeseburger now. <laughs> I was just, this was the big one I've been stressing for a while and I just wanted to get it over with, regardless of what happened, you know. And it's just a blessing to, to be on the team at the age of 16. So. How long has this been on your radar? That I could make it? Yeah. Um, a month? A month. A month, maybe. And I think it became more apparent, you know, as the meet went on. So. And did you expect to come here and start winning your first couple races? No. no. I just wanted to qualify, get through the rounds, and try to make it to the final. But I think the first two are definitely confidence boosting for me. And uh, how important do you think was it to have an off day yesterday? It was very important. I think, you know, I got to get away from the track, go to the Nike store, buy a bunch of shoes, and, you know, just be able to refocus and come back for the big one. So I'm, I was happy for that day off. And uh, you, along with Vashti, two, Vashti Cunningham, two teenagers representing Team USA, uh, and you're the, you'll, you will be the youngest Olympian since 1972. Uh, you know, what, how does it feel to, to be an icon in the sport here country? That has not hit me yet. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow morning when I wake up. <laughs> it's so unreal right now. I, and you said about a month ago you thought this could be possible. What, what was the mo one moment when you realized? Nationals, running 54, you know, out there. Um, I was pushed through the front of it, but I think the back end, not having anyone in front of me, you know, it kind of just showed me that once I do, you know, the time's going to drop. Gotcha. Well, congratulations, Sydney. Thank you. Um, any, any thoughts about turning pro at this point? No thoughts about that. School first. School first. All right. Back to Union Catholic in the fall. Uh, well, congratulations. Great job and good luck in Rio. Thank you.